أنا اللي تقريبا حوالي قطعتين أرض هنا في نافيرز أنا أبوي ورث عن أبو وأنا ورث عن أبوي وإحنا تقريبا إن من الألفين ودور جاي إحنا واجهنا مشاكل مع هذا المستوطنة There are at least 139 properties that we found listed on Airbnb in 2018 in illegal settlements in the West Bank, not including East Jerusalem. These settlements are illegal under international humanitarian law. Every time somebody clicks to book, Airbnb gets its commission. Booking.com also does it. We partnered with an Israeli organization, Kerem Navot, that has mapped out all the information about land ownership. We are, for example, in an area, we know exactly which parcel belongs to whom. Yeah. Okay, this is the case of the uh, outpost of uh, Neve Erez. The land which uh, this uh, Airbnb listing is privately owned by Palestinians. We can see how land which is grabbed is actually being used by these specific settlers in order to make living, in order to survive here economically. Airbnb, by operating in the settlements, by making money from uh, rentals on its platform, it is contributing to and benefiting from human rights violations that emanate from the settlement enterprise. The settlement enterprise in the West Bank violates the rights of Palestinians in many ways. One is theft of land, confiscation of land that is theirs. Settlements also lead to the establishment of checkpoints and bypass roads and Palestinians' freedom of movement is harmed. This is a kind of policy of development that has cost the Palestinian economy billions of dollars. لازم كده احنا لما بنروح على المنطقة هذه لازم نلف حوالي 10 كيلو تنصيل أرضنا وهذه مشكلة كبيرة والأمور مش يعني مريحة ولا طبيعية إلا الفلاح يعيش حياته فيها كمعتاد. أما كفلسطيني كأدخل فيها وأستأجر فيها هذا من رابع المستحيل يعني ما ما بيدخلوك. This is the only place in the world we are aware of where Airbnb is part of a system that discriminates against people on the basis of their national origin. The Airbnb response is that the discrimination that takes place is not discrimination that they have any control over because it's policy of the government, not of the individual owners. Businesses, whether they're Israeli, international, American, have responsibilities under UN principles on business and human rights. In our view, to comply with their human rights responsibilities, businesses need to cut their ties to West Bank settlements, stop providing services, stop doing business in settlements. It's a blatantly discriminatory system. Airbnb shouldn't be part of it.